to Acoda Products live demonstration. My name is Jared Stearns. Today we're going to discuss draw wire encoders. What is an encoder in general? Encoder is, is a device, specifically a rotor encoder, is a device that allows you to get position or speed or measure a distance, and it does that by rotating. There's two flavors of encoders, incremental encoders and absolute encoders. Incremental encoders operate on a very simple principle. When I rotate the shaft of an encoder, the light is interrupted and it creates pulses. When you buy an encoder and you get it with a thousand lines on the disc, when I do exactly one rotation of this shaft, it'll create a thousand pulses. And you can count those pulses and you can do a lot with them. I can put a wheel on it, put it on a conveyor belt, and then I'll know how far I've gone. Or I can count those pulses, divide by time, and I know how fast I'm going. Very similar to an incremental encoder is an absolute encoder. Whereas an incremental encoder is just going tick, 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 like the second hand on your watch, an absolute encoder is saying it's 130, it's 131, it's 132. And you can walk away and check back and look at your watch and go, oh, now it's 240. Okay, I didn't have to actually count the pulses in between. Absolute encoders give discrete positions within a circle, constantly reporting, that, not just ticks. So what happens if we take this encoder and we put a drum on it, kind of like a drum on the winch of a Jeep, except much more precise, a very precision machine drum, and put a steel cable on it with a spring. That makes it a draw wire encoder. So what a draw wire encoder does, when I pull this cable, it rotates the encoder, in this case being incremental, creating those ticks, those pulses. So I'm able to count those ticks and figure out how far in or out my cable is. This encoder puts out 500 ticks or pulses per inch. So I've got a resolution here of two thousandths per tick mark of an inch of travel. So I can very accurately measure with this encoder the linear distance. If you look at our, our model LCX here, you can actually see when I pull this wire and rotate it, you can see that it's rotating the hub that the encoder shaft would mount to. So all a draw wire encoder is, is taking basically a very fancy measuring tape with steel cable and a spring, and we're putting it on an encoder and creating a linear measurement device. So where are some applications? What are some other reasons I'd use a draw wire, especially in packaging? Well, any kind of horizontal or vertical movement, such as printing, maybe you're in the business of, of moving products up and down vertical elevators, been in some warehouses that have four stories of redundant material handling, and when they need to move material between them, they need to position that elevator between carts. Very difficult to do when all you're using is proximity sensors and you just know between what floors it is. Now you can get an accurate position of that carriage. Where there's uh, high temperatures or low temperatures or a lot of contamination. Some examples for you is I have these encoders on injection mold machines because then the injector is very hot. You don't want sensitive electronics near it. So this allows me to, hey, I'm gonna hook this up to the injector. I'm gonna position this away from the heat and now I can measure this motion from far away and protect the encoder Material handling also involves forklifts. Uh, if you need to know the height of the forks on your forklift, uh, you can use a draw wire encoder versus a uh, rack and pinion that's very common now and get a much more accurate position of those forks. So why would you use a draw wire encoder? There's a lot of ways out there to accomplish linear measurement. Our wheel encoders are used for linear measurement as well. We had this on our conveyor belt here, and you can use it for, for running on belts or running against services and get a little linear measurement. The trouble with a wheel encoder is what if you have an application that requires repeatable back and forth positioning? When you reverse a wheel in different directions, there's going to be losses that slowly accumulate in accuracies. If you need something going back and forth, say a print head on a printer that's constantly going across and back, and you need to repeatedly position it back to zero every time, a wheel encoder is not going to do that for you. Another solution is scales. There are little pieces of either metal or maybe gold foil uh, or plastic that you would put on your entire distance of linear travel. The trouble with scales is what if you have 20 feet or 40 feet you got to move? That would be a really long scale. It'd be expensive and they're prone to failure if you have contamination. Maybe you have oil and coolants, maybe you have metal chips. If you scratch or damage those scales, you now lose positioning in that area. A draw wire encoder eliminates the need for an expensive scale, even over long distances. This draw wire itself can go to 42 and a half meters. That's pretty far, and you're not investing for that length of scale. Because of the hard coupling 
of the drum to the encoder, there's no backlash in here. So you can repeatedly measure that linear distance over and over as you could with a scale. We have two main models of draw wire encoders. Our tried and true model is our LCE. That is a 50 inch maximum draw with a stainless steel cable. Again, a five inch drum. Uh, this encoder is only offered right now with, uh, in the catalog anyway, with incremental feedback and you can get up to two thousandths of resolution uh, per inch. Our model LCX goes out from one meter to 42 and a half meters. The one I'm holding in my hand here is a five meter draw wire. This device accepts all common 58 millimeter encoders that have clamping flanges. And in the world of encoders, that is a universal mount. So this allows you to order the length wire you need, and then you can choose the encoder from our catalog that has the outputs and the resolution you want, whether it's a multi-turn absolute profinet encoder, as this one is, or you can order our incremental uh, 58 millimeter encoders as well if you want incremental signals. And simply take this, it slides in, you take an Allen key, you tighten it on the hub, you take an Allen key, you tighten it on the shaft, making sure to orient the uh, uh, cable exits however you want, and that's it. Installation is easy peasy. Bolt it down, hook this up to whatever's moving, and you're good to go. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.